The tech market can be a fickle one. Companies once considered sure bets can quickly fall from grace, while other young upstarts rise to fill their place. The drama can get a little Shakespearean. As a tech analyst, I always like to pay special attention to companies in the process of turning around a business, everybody likes a comeback story, right? Well, while the world was sleeping, a semi-comeback story could already be here inside of one year, and this time, it's Synaptics. I'd like to discuss Synaptics, a San Jose-based company that specializes in premium endpoint semiconductors in products like laptop touchpads, think Lenovo ThinkPad, smartphone touchscreens, think Apple, voice and AI for smart speakers, think Google Mini, and much, much more. The company has flourished in the last year under the guidance of new CEO Michael Hurlston, who took the reins back in August of 2019. I tuned into the company's recent Financial Analyst Day, where Hurlston and the new management team shared some details on his own journey and efforts to chart a new course for Synaptics. Here's what I learned. I will be following up with a drill down into its two recent acquisitions, DisplayLink and Broadcom's IoT wireless solutions in another write-up. Synaptics has been around for a long time, it was founded in 1986 and went public in 2002. There's actually a very good chance you've used Synaptics technology without knowing it if you've ever used a laptop, smartphone, or smart speaker. The company holds over 1,800 patents, spanning consumer IoT, e.g. multimedia processors, far field voice, computer vision, neural network accelerators, mobile, display drivers, touch controllers, PC, video interfaces, pointing devices, fingerprint sensors, touchpads, and auto, touch controllers for console displays, display drivers, TDDI. The company boasts a global footprint, with 18 sites worldwide and over 1,400 employees, and as of 2020, its market cap is evaluated at around $2.5 billion. Hurlston came to Synaptics last year, after a tenure as CEO of a company called Finisar, and before that, 16 years with Broadcom, with stints heading up worldwide sales and running the company's Wireless Connect Group. According to Hurlston, his first impression when arriving at Synaptics was, in three words, opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. He cited the company's struggles with its gross margin, which for years fluctuated between 35 to 39 percent. Hurlston also saw unique opportunity in the fact that Synaptics, at the time, was trading below its revenue. Synaptics at the time, while certainly developing great technology, did not have roadmaps in place to provide direction and long-term vision. Moreover, Hurlston says he saw a talented engineering team that was not being fully harnessed or challenged, lacking processes around who was working on what, and what their ROI was. As in the case of the company roadmap, the engineering team seemed to lack direction, 